Okay. Uh, continuing onward, we're going to finish up the last bit of the summary of the power of awareness. Um, I don't think that this video is going to take 20 minutes, so I might like I might squeeze in some of the um, the diagramming that I was going to do, um, or I'll just cut it off, <clears throat> cut it off early, and, and release that. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's get into it. I may I may have a lot to say about the, about the chapters. So chapter 21 is about free will. And um, there's actually not that many new ideas in this in this chapter. It's basically um, your assumptions direct everything. So same thing that he's been saying before. Uh, God's will is I am. And um, let me. I was I was curious about what the context was for this second statement here. God's will is I am. And he got that I think from a verse that is this one. I kind of mine own self do nothing because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father is in me. So that's Jesus talking to, I guess, someone, and he's saying that. <clears throat> so he's saying, uh, since, fa since the Father is, or God is I am, he, def he defines God as I am. And since creation is finished, that's another two, two, two fundamental um, facts here or, or statements. Creation is finished, God is I am. Um, the father is never in a position of saying I will be. So uh, I am can only speak in the present tense because God is, well, his creation is finished. His creation is finished. That's it. That's, there's only the present where everything already is. So um, I am is the only way that you can, um, or that, that no, I am is the only way that God can kind of speak of, of itself, himself, itself. Uh, uh, okay. Um, not my will. Yep, yep, yep. Father's will as I am. Okay, so until you realize that you are the father, um, I this this statement is is easier for me to wrap my head around rather than um, saying that uh, we're God because the it's 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 important to define before just saying that we're God what the definition of God is, because traditionally, um, you know, we, we, to say that we are like the Old Testament God and we can, you know, kill firstborns and whatever. I just, I think that the, the, uh, the, the phrasing should be a little more nuanced. Um, for now, I, I, I personally right now don't see a problem with saying that we are uh, part of, uh, of, of that I am. Because I mean, our, our assumptions and, and our thoughts like dictate the world around us in, in ways that we can't even imagine. That's, that's undoubtable. If anyone here watching the video has seen uh, or, or experienced um, an assumption coming true, like it's, it, it, comes, it comes about, um, you know, naturally, but, but it still comes about. And, and so this, this is easier for me to swallow than uh, and just saying, oh, right, we're God. I mean, I mean, we can be God in a, in a, in a, in a different definition. We can't like call down fire and, and make clouds appear out of nowhere um, as humans. I mean, yet maybe, maybe we, we will later on. Uh, um, but uh, I just, I just think that, that for the sake of, of, of not, of, of clarity and um, uh, uh, like credibility that the, the definition of God, when someone says, hey, I'm God, should be should be uh, taken with a little more care, a little more, <laughs> a little more caution. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I I I don't, I don't have a problem with this. That's just the main, the main thing. If, if you want to if you want to call your infinite self, which is like the the, the, the awareness that you are, uh, if you want to call that Father or God or whatever, then you know feel free. Just like kind of be don't be 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 mindful with what you are identifying yourself as. You don't want to lie to yourself, um, and, and and I believe that even if you do lie to yourself, eventually, even saying that you're God or whatever, um, or that you have these these <clears throat> these certain abilities, that uh, the truth will come to you anyway at, at some at some point. So you'll you'll know whatever. I mean, I mean yeah. So yeah, just just you know, be careful. Um, but that's that's like you're, you're going to be careful either way. So that's kind of a waste for me to say that. 
Anyway, so what's the next statement here? You can't do without being. So yeah, that's, that's a statement that has been like stressed time and time again. Um, so I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go over it. So, okay, always assume the most, the pure, just and lovely. So I think he ends with the, uh, he ends the chapter like that, of infinite free will. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's, let's go over this chapter again. Um, your assumptions direct everything that happened. Sure, that's fine. Law of assumption. Um, God's will as I am. And then you can, because because creation is finished. So that's creation is finished is another uh, topic introduced in, another, in a later chapter. Or introduced, I guess, talked about in a later chapter. Well, I am, so I don't know. I can't do what that being. Um, so yeah, being is a part of, uh, is part of I am. So if you are, if you are something, I mean, that's that's literally what, what he's trying to say with, with, um, with being I am or calling yourself I am. And then, um, since you basically like, there's no good and evil. There's no, uh, there's there's no like right or wrong, um, un unclean or unclean. Um, assume assume the best for yourself. And and I think I think that everybody watching this video will find out what is pure and just and lovely for them. I I, I believe that everyone is going to be guided to some kind of enlightenment or some kind of like way to live that that will improve um, their life and everybody else's life around them that's that's just what i believe okay chapter 22 is uh persistence okay it's pretty simple to understand persist so it's just like it's a, it's a continuation of the, the main idea that that uh your assumptions dictate the world around you because um this 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 should be if you if you take the the law of assumption at its, at its face value and, and you you um you you give it, you give it the respect that well i guess you follow it to, to, to the letter, you're naturally going to persist. Um, you, if, if senses are gonna come up, uh, if, if sorry, sensory uh, experiences are gonna come up contrary to what you assume, you're gonna persist anyway, because <clears throat> unless you lose faith in, in the law of assumption. Um, but this is, a, this is a tool, I think. Persisting, like, a, um, yeah, it's just, it's just an easier way to understand how you are to act uh, when faced with, um, you know, uh, struggles or something. Okay, so you experienced it, cool. Chapter 23 is just a bunch of case histories. We already went over that. I, I'm really proud of um, how the case history thing turned out. I didn't uh, go in depth when I first went over, but recording myself talking about it, I realized a lot of a lot of things and, and, and it really helped the case histories. Like, um, yeah, so, and, and I hope that uh, the case histories helped anybody watching this video, those videos. Okay, chapter 24 is, um, he talks about naturalness. I mean, I already talked about how I, think um, based on my own experiences and what Neville said after this book. Uh, chapter 25 is faith uh, and that's not in here. So it, it just, it just talking about, it's just talking about faith here. Um, faith comes on the, from the belief that creation is finished. So just the same as this is, this is the um, chapter that I was talking about where faith comes from the, the substance of, of things hoped for. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, this is creation is finished. I, I think that it's a it's a separate it's a fact separate from his his first few claims, which were like, which were that that consciousness is is reality and everything is made from consciousness and we're connected to consciousness. Um, but if someone can draw a link between those two, since creation is finished, I can't. I mean. Since everything is consciousness, everything can also be the same, but that doesn't mean that like specific with creation is finished and that there is no past, no, no future. It's all, it's all the present. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. So um, I understand, I understand that believing in, in this fact can, can lead to faith. Yikes. <laughs> um, but where does, where does this come from? Creation is finished. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I know. I mean, probably like some some Bible verses. Um, I was just talking about faith here. Um, yeah, someone who wants to link a resource to creation is finished. The the the, the underlying um, claims underneath uh, that 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 support this creation is finished. Then um, just drop it in the comments or send me a message somehow uh, with Discord. I think that's the only 
thing I have available. Uh, okay, chapter 26 is, oh, sorry, he's talking about destiny. That's kind of tongue in cheek here. Um, ultimate destiny is a, is a thing, but you're destined to do all these things. <clears throat> and then again, I've talked about the, the, the nuance, I guess, for lack of a better word. Nuance. Yeah, the, the, distinction, the distinction between what you think, what I think you meant with destiny and what he's saying. So anyway, uh, the ultimate destiny is basically you're supposed to rise higher, higher levels of consciousness by assuming the noblest, the, the truest, the, the justest, <laughs> most just uh, for yourself and for other people. And then experience, you're, you're destined to experience um, greater and greater levels of, of creation. And you're uh, destined to also reach the point where you can realize you can, you can make your own destinies. Uh, and you know maybe you all the do all the crazy stuff that Neville was talking about. Um, I'm really interested to, to read about that. Um, he had been you know practicing uh, manifestation or, or consciousness or awareness or whatever uh, for a period of years at a time. And so maybe it's just like a a, a, a product of transcending human patterns, like like the patterns that we are born to and and uh adjusting to new new patterns and that so maybe that changes like our our makeup or i don't, I don't know i don't know how that works i'm, I'm uh, <clears throat> philosophizing here okay chapter 27 the very last one <clears throat> is um is reverence so he kind of ties it all in with unequivocally unequivocally stating that uh you are so this, this is kind of hard to um hard to understand so you are these things. You are God, you are consciousness, you are the creator, you are the awareness that you are. Awareness that you are is one, is one separate thing. Okay. And or do whatever you're do whatever. Okay. Uh, so sorry, the uh oops, it's not here. All right. The awareness that you are or do whatever. And you are your your greater or infinite self. And that's that's the I uh, <clears throat> This is, this is hard to keep track of. Um, your, I'm, I'm gonna talk about your greater and infinite self here. Your greater and infinite self, right? Because that is, um, let's, see if, let's see what he says exactly word for it. Because greater and infinite self, okay, infinite self. Um, yeah, so to, to some degree, we are, we, we humans are connected in maybe consciousness to, to like, um, everything else and uh i think that's what he's saying here because uh, all eternity is infinite being and um, since all is made from consciousness that uh like the, the greater consciousness um is is what is what we are also is, is also part of our identity maybe maybe the awareness part of our identity i say i say part but um maybe the awareness is, is like is 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 a is a is a truer uh, link to to like the the bigger the bigger consciousness. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so you are consciousness. You are the greater. Um, you, yeah, and and that you can never know this intellectually. I think so. Um, he he may be like, like where where does he get this from? Where does he get the that the fact that that you, the fact that you are you are God, you are consciousness, you are like awareness, you are uh, consciousness, like you are part of part of greater consciousness. Um, where does he get that it that it transcends reason? Um, is I, I think I think it, um, and I'm just this is this is a hypothesis that he says that it transcends reason because of his subjective experience. Um, and so, it, and the, the, reason, the reason why I am assuming subjective experience is because he talks about the, the, uh, the, the love, I think, the awe, the feeling of worship right here. Like one, okay, no, let's say, yeah, closest to God. Mm, okay, so becoming aware of it, you are uh, living, you live with a feeling of, of reverence. And that's the, the important thing is that you, that you you are your world, and, and um, 
you are your inner being and all that stuff. And then, and then he's saying, once you, once you realize that and you're filled with reverence, um, yeah. I'm not any glimpse around you. Okay. So, I mean, that is, is because he, uh, it's, this is again, a hypothesis is that he's, he's talking about here, profound awe and feeling of worship. He's, he's, I, I think, I think he's, he's uh, hinting at this being a, this being a, something that he went through himself. So that's why, that's why he's saying that you can't know it intellectually is because he didn't know it intellectually. He felt it and then kind of um, is, is preaching what he experienced. Um, which is in line with the rest of the rest of what he said, because he's he's experienced if he's to, if he is to believe if he is to be believed, all of his claims um, have been pretty far fetched uh, and and super ordinary, extraordinary. Um, anyway, so <clears throat> let's go over really quick the entire book just so that you get the main ideas, because I did that with feeling awareness and I feel good about that. So let's just go over slide by slide the stuff that we need to uh, go over. So. A lot of inf- a lot of uh, weight and importance, and should be given to to um, what somebody starts with saying. So if they say uh, if, they, if they establish something, and because because Neville establishes something without any support here, um, and that's that's just I'm, I'm I'm approaching that from a logical perspective. He he just says that consciousness is the world, and and uh, and is one and can't be divided, and consciousness is I am and uh we are i am and he doesn't he doesn't say why or how um he just he just establishes these things and then builds on that anyway so what we're talking about we're talking about his uh, his methodology here so uh the the main the main facts are describing consciousness what is consciousness consciousness one can be divided god feeling permanent awareness all this stuff um basic cause substance everything is made from consciousness 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 is everything consciousness is made from everything um, everything starts and begins with consciousness and then consciousness it can be can be defined with all these things and people can kind of tune into that by um, like like we as humans who determine concept of self can uh, change our our subjective experience and can conform reality to what we want or to the conform reality and the shape that we want by assuming concept of self it's, it's the same, it's the same thing. It's all based on consciousness, consciousness, consciousness. <laughs> um, let's go over to kind of right here now. Yeah. I was just gonna write consciousness. Okay, so that's, that's important, right? So uh, fact, fact number one, I mean, fact number one, consciousness is pretty much everything. And uh, yeah, and, and we can, it's, it's not only, it's not separate from us because it's everything, we are connected to it. So we can adjust consciousness by, by uh, uh, choosing, because that's our free will. We have the power to choose what we are conscious of. So with that, um, I, don't, I don't know how, I don't know why, uh, but, but uh, by, by assuming certain things, by assuming we can change subjective, our, our own subjective reality. And to a degree that is unknown to me right now, other people's, uh, well, our reality is as we see it, and that includes other people, which who also have the power to change, to, to do exactly what we are, we're doing. We're, uh, we're all humans, and, and, and unless I'm being told otherwise, we're all the same. We have the same capability of changing concepts of self we have, but we all have the same power. Um, so that's number one, consciousness uh yeah and then and then we can change consciousness and we can change reality by changing our concept of self which is changing consciousness okay um a kind of a kind of a because because you have the ability to change concept of self and choose what you want it's very important to be aware of what you are reacting to and what you are conscious of being so that is that is this this mindfulness thing is a is a uh, an idea that's built off of we have the power to uh, to control our fate by determining concept of self. So it's very important to understand or to uh, to train ourselves in um, mindful 
choosing of what we are conscious of. <laughs> and then, okay, and that's, and that's it, okay? So two, two things, kind of one thing, one, first one, everything is consciousness, two, that's to thing two, um, we can change and we should be mindful of who we are, of who we decide ourselves to be, um, and in doing so can um, change our reality. Okay. Feeling the wish fulfilled is a tool. That's, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna say it's an important thing because it is a supplementary tool that you can use as a perspective changing thing if you need it, but you don't need it if you have these first two, consciousness and changing concepts concept of self. This is also a supplementary idea is, is uh, attention. Like the importance of attention. It's, it's the same thing as mindfulness. This is another idea that, that's separate from, from the first two, is that everything in, in the world is not, nothing is unclean or clean. It could be like a kind of a kind of offshoot of everything is consciousness, because everything is consciousness, everything is neither clean or unclean. There's also I, I'm, I'm looking at this here, all is yours. There's another uh, uh, foundational like fact thing, and that's that's everything. So everything is consciousness. And everything already is. There is no no past, no, no future, um, and so, so everything is already finished, somehow. So that is another way to describe um, everything, or I guess our our reality, our the world we live in, our environment. Everything is consciousness. Nothing is clean or unclean. There's no objective good or good or bad, which is. I don't know, and that, that may be to be taken into court. And also everything is, uh, everything is finished already. Um, this everything is finished already can facilitate your perspective of assuming whatever you want. Well, you, you, for example, you can say, well, since everything's finished, um, I'm just gonna assume that I'm this thing that already exists. I don't need it created. I just, you just select, we're selectors. And that's a week as you closely select concept itself. So we got, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep these down somewhere. Let me open up a Word document. So what, every thing is consciousness. Let's show you know what, it's consciousness. It's, I think these are separate ideas. I think these are all separate ideas. And then everything is, uh, it's the same already. Everything already is. Everything already is. Okay. Uh, cool. And you know what? I'm just going to let this video run through and I'm going to do a diagram because I don't think I'll need to at this point. Um, and then, so because of that, Building on the above. One, um, we determine by choosing, selecting. So, okay. All right. Chapter nine, all is yours. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Everything exists now. Cool. We've already done that. Attention. We've already done that. Good desire and absorption. Okay. This is this is an effect. Uh, the gift of your desire comes after absorption of the feeling of the wish of That is what's going to happen naturally. You you don't have to worry about that. Just worry about these two. These two uh, main main groups of ideas, and, and everything will naturally come. Uh, being, um, it's it's an option. It's a it's a restatement of of concept of self. Every desire is self conceived. Um, let me go back to chapter fifteen and see what the heck he's talking about here. The crown of mystery. Ah, oh, right, right. Okay, so we have we already. I think we've already gone through this, um, and that's that's the 
And the, the, the conclusion was that uh, that's what Nipple believes is that every every man is is Mary, and um, because Mary uh, had her like gave, gave birth to Jesus, every every one of our desires is also bound to happen. It's it's a it's a perspective changing or can be can be used as a perspective shifting perspective shifting tool or an idea or a belief that um, because because we are human and uh, and uh, Mary is an allegory of, of our of our or a, one of our aspects of consciousness that we are also destined to have everything if you believe uh, these these two you don't need to you don't need to worry about that okay Okay, identify yourself. Same thing. To be fulfilled. Surrender yourself. So the I think I'm putting too much weight on the on the on the distinction of of the future tense versus versus present um, because he's already um, for for us humans like we we have we experience time. Um, surrender yourself to that ideal. Okay, it's also to do. I mean, it's it's the same thing. Concept of self. Change, change concepts. If you if you if you change concepts of self completely, concept of self completely, then you this this will happen naturally. You will naturally surrender yourself to your ideal. Okay, and then you can't have a wish for that. Okay, so he's talking about the, the steps to have a desire. So this is also a tool. Physical immobility is a tool. Uh, experience and imagination, like use images or whatever. Um, these are tools that uh, are secondary to this main idea by choosing concept yourself. Um, okay, Oops. almost done. Righteousness is having the feeling of what you want to be. This is a different idea, separate from because it's defining. It's defining righteousness. So righteousness is. The feeling of being what you want to be it, it, it is a supporting idea that um that will help you uh believe or have faith that um or i guess not have not get, get not get rid of any or get rid of it may it may get rid of of a limiting belief that that you have or, you know for example um, you know I, I feel bad about having a certain desire well righteousness is the is the awareness of uh, being what you want to be and uh creation is finished um, that's what I think that uh, the definition of, of righteousness is, as uh, is talked about in this book. Assumptions direct everything to happen. Yep, it's the same thing. Concept of assumptions. Assumption of concept of self. As well as I am. Can do that being. Okay, always assume the best. So just like be a good person. This is a. a I don't know where he gets this from. I would love to know where he gets his ideas from. Um, but this is in uh th because there's nothing good or bad um you, you don't you don't strictly speaking need to need to uh, think uh, and, and assume pure just lovely thoughts uh i believe that you naturally will if you don't do that already but um yeah everything is clean or unclean as said right here yeah right clean no yeah sorry i'm not saying. Okay, just the assumption, same thing, case histories. Um, I think these show, the, the case histories are good to show that uh, everything, or that that um, methods don't matter, like specific methods don't matter. It's it's the, the core, the core beliefs um, and the core facts that underlie all of these success stories and, and all of the, the other ones that he's, that he's said. And experience uh, the naturalness. This is a an adjective or a describe or a descriptive element of of the wish fulfilled. Your subjective reality changing. Um, kind of kind of an aspect because it's talking about time. Because uh, if if he's to if he unless he's contradicting himself, which I don't think he is. Um, Time doesn't really isn't really a thing. Everything already is. There's no there's no past. There's no future. So time, the, the aspect of time should be irrelevant if if these two main main ideas are to be uh, followed. 
Um, but again, this is a, this is this can be a tool. If if you, I mean, not not a really helpful one because you know you you can beat yourself up about oh am I doing it right? No, just don't don't worry about that because um, if you if you determine concept of self, then everything will follow. Everything will follow. Uh, okay, faith comes with the leaves that creation is finished. So that is uh, talking about faith, kind of like righteousness. Like defining faith and righteousness is up here. Faith is um, is a is a is a natural progression of you determining concept of self and, and believing that everything is consciousness or clean or clean and existing already. Okay, ultimate destiny is one thing, you're destined to, okay, destiny. Um, this is a separate idea. Ultimate destiny is a thing, but you're destined to do all these things. Um, that's actually a natural progression of, um, of uh, changing concepts of self and manipulating reality however you want. You're, you're naturally going to do these things. I, I believe that you're naturally going to be guided to a uh, noble mindset and noble values. And as, as, as such, thusly, <laughs> you're, you're destined to, to do all these things. Uh, and then the uh, more more underlying things, and this is actually a, uh, an important fundamental fact here, is that you are... Um, I guess it can be here, like you, oh, come on. all these things, God, consciousness, whatever. Please, please, please. Okay. Yeah, you are, you are all, the, all these things. Um, and so it's, it's another, another separate idea, another, another fundamental. Um, um, and then this is an, another natural um, result of you exercising your awareness and your, your power to choose your reactions and concept of self that you will naturally come to. I think that you will uh, naturally like be aware that you can change everything you want to and you'll be aware and you'll, you'll be shown that you're the father, um, maybe through... Um, through the the signs, oh man, what are they called? The the four the four like acts, the dove and the, the David coming up to you. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, that's 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 the entire book here. The main the main ideas that I'm going to take away from are like you have some degree of power um, that you um, you you're connected to a greater consciousness. Your your assumptions determine reality in some form or fashion. Um, because and, and everything is consciousness, neither clean or unclean. No, there's no good or evil. There's, um, yeah, and so uh, by by choosing concept of self, by choosing concept of self, we can we can do whatever we want, and we'll naturally be led to, you know, fulfillment or self actualization and all that stuff. Yeah, but that's uh, that's my that's, those are my main takeaways. Uh, all the other topics and main ideas uh, I've, I've explained are offshoots or results of, of these main things. I think, I, I don't know. Uh, if anyone wants to chime in on what they think about the book or the main, main uh, ideas they they got, um, just for simplicity's sake, I like, I like to keep things simple. Um, yeah, and, and going over these books really help. And so I, I recommend that everybody um, do that as well. They they really intentionally study the the books that that um, cause cause them to believe one thing or another, especially about the world around them and and who they are and stuff, because that's like super important. Okay, uh, all right, that's my that's my book. It's all done. That's my book. Um, and um, I'm gonna be going over um, probably lectures. Like the latest, the, the latest lectures. Um, yeah, first, and uh, we'll we'll I'll I'll you know dissect them as best I can. Um, yeah, see you later.